Hello, all you hardcores out there. How are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, the biggest gob in sport. We say the things on here that nobody dares say. Thank you for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment and sharing the video as well lately. I'm impressed. Very. Pop, pop, bang. Right. The story so far. <laughs> well, we've had the big Saudi moment, haven't we, again? Oh, my God. They rolled the dice, didn't they, Furies? But when you're coming in looking like Mr. Blobby, and you still think you're the big GK, it's no good. You've got to train. You can't be coming in at 20 Clementines and expected to move like Pernil Whitaker. You can't keep getting away with it. Father time waits for no man. No man. Not even the big GK. Well, let's have it right. His CV's got more holes in it than Swiss cheese. But hey-ho, where do they go now? Well, I'm going to go on record and say that they're still going to want the Moosek fights, but they're going to want more free millions and a guaranteed win. Now, if he goes in with anybody at Septusek next, he might get beat, GK. He might just do on Garno again. He will look at that as freebie money. Now, they already had a rematch, didn't they? You won't put it past them playing it again, Sam, would you? The same way we've got to correct it, like we did the John McDermott fight, and putting a load of spin on it, and you know we're taking it serious. And I went, well, what? Weren't you taking it serious before? Oh, what motivated? You weren't motivated. What? Well, all them millions at stake in a proper boxing match, but you're not motivated. I don't get that. I don't get that. Will he change trainers? I don't know. You won't put it past. Of staying with Sugar Hill, would you? You know, but at this stage, you could see him being trained by Eddie Hills. It doesn't matter, does it? Who trains him at this stage of the game? He's pushing 36 year old, strutting about over 20 Clem now. Could you imagine the size of him on Boxing Day this year? Hey. Can you imagine? He'd be as fat as a pig Boxing Day. Fat as a pig. He would just be finishing up. Turkey sandwiches. It's caught up with him, whereas Usek, consummate professional, isn't he? You'd make him a favourite if they do fight, wouldn't you? He'd be a favourite going into it. If he weren't before, it's probably a it's probably a 55 45 fight now in Usek's favour, whereas before it was probably 51 49 in Fury's favour. He's lost that 4%, hasn't he? Can you get that back? Well, we don't know. Uh, personally, I think you should let old Captain Chaos train him. He's angling for it. And you let him run the show. <laughs> they know what they're doing with him around. <laughs> They'll get views, but I'll be about it. So there's no December 23rd. After all that chit-chat. What about Eddie Hills coming out? He couldn't wait to come out, could he? Eddie Hills gagging for Ingano fight. Begging bowl out. He didn't put Joshua near anybody with a heartbeat. There he Hills. He didn't do it. He just didn't do it. It's, uh, I see they're all in Monaco today, though, aren't they? Eddie Hills there. Alt Sims, Jim there. An older kid. Yeah, old Big Top's come out saying Eddie's going through up menopause. <laughs> menopause. And then told him he's a shit shoveler. Oh, my. Oh, God. Eddie's only gone and got his sent up front, front cover, a January men's health edition. Oh, my God. He's going to be unbearable now, isn't he? Eddie Hills, the athlete from Essex. Oh, my God. He's going to be unbearable now unbearable but he needs to get his finger out the man strutting around in Monaco singing songs you know in his seven star hotel hey what's all that about you need to be getting some songs sung saying you've got uh, 
some fights for your, lined up for your fighters. Crusher Ben's still in wilderness. Well, so this is about they're going to fight anyway in Jan. What is all that about? I don't see border control giving them a license. No. I see them going another route. That's how I look at it, but they're not bothered, are they now? Look how they built this. It's it's a monster, this fight. It's bigger than ever. Yeah, on back of what? Oh, is that what it's come to? On back of two failed performance enhancing dope tests. Two positives. They've built it. And laughing all the way to the bank. That's boxing, isn't it? 2023. Brilliant, isn't it? Not as brilliant as IFL. <laughs> They're only doing interviews with Joey Essex calling KSI out. Old IS, old, old the IFL, eh? Staying loyal to the uh, to the sweet science, as you do. Joey Essex from Essex wants to fight KSI. Oh, my God. A Charlie Sims chum wanted to jump in on the Misfits money. Jeez. Eh? Can you imagine what they get to talk about that, though, when they go back to an house for a sniff at night after they've been out in that sugar hut? You can imagine, can't you? You can imagine them all sat there saying, yeah, we'd do a Misfits. Yeah, would you do a Misfits? Yeah, I'd do a Misfits. Oh, my God. Unbelievable, isn't it? Absolutely unbelievable. What can you do? It's uh, buy new boots or swim for it. So that's about it, really. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed with uh, Gary Sykes' uh, views. Took a week to get a thousand views on a video like that, especially with expense and all messing about. For it. It's like people don't give a shit in it. If John Fury blows his nose and I mention it on my channel, everybody shares it. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. 14 people shared that video out of 1,000 views, but only 0.14% shared it. It's like people don't give a shit about what's right, isn't it? A Lansdale belt. Best belt in boxing. People should get behind, Gary. But no problem. I'm a one-man army anyway, me. So we and Julian will sort it. We'll get Gary's belt. By hook or by crook, we will get there because what's doing the right thing is the most important thing for somebody who's spilt his guts. All right, that's how I look at it. But I'm disappointed that not many people have shared Gary's video uh, or, or even watched it. Do you know what I mean? When you're doing that in a couple of hours and it takes a week to do that, it shows you where boxing fans' heads are at, isn't it? And what the, what's right, what they really think about the sport. That's how I look at it. You call the Sons Hardcore. Disappointing. But, hey ho, so I hope everybody enjoys Eddie Hills' Monaco show tonight. I've got a couple of videos out tonight. 8 o'clock and 8.30. I think it's 8, well, about 8, 8.55. They'll, they'll be out here. Uh, really good. Uh, two good videos, uh, in, a good interview. Uh, to watch it anyway, I'm not going to spoil it. All right, that's about it really. Okie dokie. Peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. And uh, everybody have a great weekend, what's left of it. Booyaka. We're going to go out for a walk, dogs. I'm going to take my dogs out for a walk and I get them slugged up. All right. Peace out.